Okay, so hey everybody, this morning I am going to be making my crock pot apple butter. This will be my last batch of the year. This is my last batch of apples. So I just started and I figured I'd bring you all along for the ride. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get these peeled up and I'll bring you back in just a minute. Okay, so I've got all my apples peeled. And in the crock pot, usually I will have this heaped over, but this was all the apples I had, so this is what we're going with today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put about two cups of sugar in. Usually I do three, but like I said, I've got this heaped over. Okay. Okay, so two cups, and then I do two tablespoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, a fourth of a teaspoon of the ground nutmeg, and then a half a teaspoon of allspice. You can add cloves, whatever. You can do more or less, whatever you want to do. I've already got this measured out because it's hard to do with one hand. I just sprinkle everything over the apples like this. Okay, and then I have my crock pot on high and I'll let this cook all day. This is the first thing I've done this morning. Um, got this going and I will let it cook on high all day. I'll come through with a potato masher here in a little bit once they start to cook and mash them down. Um, you can leave it chunky like that to smash it put it in your jars can it or you can run it through your food processor or whatever it makes it thicker and um, there's no chunks in it what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let this cook all day and I'll bring y'all back um, the first time I mashed it with the potato masher and throughout the day and I'll show you how we finish this up Okay, this was the first time I mashed them. So you're just going to come through period, period, periodically throughout the day now and just keep mashing them. And the more they cook down, the smaller the pieces will get. You can leave it like that. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through the food processor here in a little bit. But I'm going to let this keep cooking, but I figured I'd show you what it looked like. Alright, so this is what it looks like before I put it in my little food processor. I'm only going to show you once and it's going to get a little loud, but should I get the point? Okay, so I'm going to go through it. I'm going to do all that and I'll bring you back in just a second. Alright, so I've got it all blended up in the little food processor. Now all I'm going to do and it's still nice and hot. I'm going to put it in my jars. I don't know how much I'm going to get out of this batch, but I will let you know. And then we're going to water bath it for 10 minutes. And that's it. We're done. So I'm going to get these in the water bath canner and I'll bring you back when it's all done. Okay, so we wiped our rims with vinegar water and now we're just going to put the lids on. Finger tight. And then we're going to put it in the water bath for 10 minutes and they'll be done. Okay, so this is what it looks like when they're done. I got seven half pints out of that batch today. Um, we got some tomatoes done too. Got about 25 more pounds to do tomorrow. But I hope this inspires you guys to try this recipe out. Um, let me know if you do and let me know how it turns out. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and I'll talk to y'all soon.